there it goes again, Steeler Nation. Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. I'm your host, Mark, and here it goes again. The cryptic tweets, the speculation, the Deontay Johnson, will he go, won't he go, is he a Steeler, is he not a Steeler? It's that crazy time of year, guys. That crazy time of year where we see something on the internet and we just overhype it, overspeculate, and we go, oh my goodness, is that, does that mean he's, he's getting traded? Does that mean that Matt Canada's going? Does that mean he doesn't want to be a stealer? I don't know. We're going to try and break this down a little bit. I'm going to give you my thought on this tweet. All right? I, I don't think it means too much, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, Deontay tweeted this the other day. He said, ain't going to say too much, dot, dot, dot. But stay tuned, 100. So what does that mean? Overly, what does it mean? First of all, we don't know. It's a bit like when you write your own statuses. I know I've did this in my personal life um, or my tweeting life, I guess. When you write your status, you know, when you write your own status, you know what that means 100%. We don't know the, the minds of Deontay Johnson. And we don't have to. We don't need to. But what we do is we over-speculate what this means. Does this mean that, that Deontay Johnson is done being a stealer? Does he want to be traded? Is he cleaning out his locker room for the last time? Uh, is, this, is, this, is this in reference to Matt Canada? Or all those things, none of the above, right? I'll give you one example how this can be overhyped and overblown. The fact that the Steelers are now eliminated from the playoffs, right? We are in off-season mode. Big time, it is the 12th of January, you're 11th. We're in off-season mode right now. Now, what would you say if, say if the Steelers made the playoffs this week, and we were versing the Bills. And Deontay Johnson wrote that same status. Ain't going to say too much, but stay tuned 100. And we're still in the playoffs. Would you then say that they're going to, they're going to trade him? Now, I, I don't know what they're going to trade him. And if they do, there's going to be a big cap hit. Uh, there could be a possibility if you go down that route and the Steelers do trade Deontay Johnson, right? That could happen. You could get back some uh, a pick, maybe a player. That may happen. But right now, still an Asian, we don't know. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Because overall, I just think this time of year, this time of year with the, like with the, with the, the, the tweets coming out um, from Johnson or whoever it may be, you know, we try and we try and go, what what is he, what is he, what, what is that? He doesn't want to be a stealer. He doesn't want to do it. Anyways, if your team, Johnson, you know, look, I, I think he's actually a pretty good player. And I'm going to go through some stats and just what I saw this year. Um, and look, we all we all revert back to Johnson dropping the football in key moments and not showing up in those big games. But I thought Johnson had a pretty good year this year. So I'm going to revert to his stats. Um, where are we? Here we are. Jonathan Johnson played in all the games. So in 2022, he played 17 games, 86 receptions, 147 targets, 882 yards, 10 average, however, zero TDs. Now, that sucks. Now, a lot of fans will say, well, he can't score TDs. But that also is designed on the play. It's also having a rookie quarterback as well. We didn't throw too many TDs. Kenny Pickett only threw nine. I believe Trubisky only threw about four or five. So 15 throughout the whole year. So as a collective whole, you just can't blame Deontay Johnson not getting TDs. You blame the whole system that is a Matt Cannon system, not just on one play not getting it. Now, in the last game, the last game of the season, he was so close. He was two yards away from getting a TD, right? His longest was 37. That was the play. First down's 45, right? And he had one fumble. Now, there was one game, though, I think versus Carolina Panthers, where everyone who's, who's you know, the, the fire, there's so many fire crowds, the fire Deontay crowd, um, or, you know, you know, you can be critical. I get that. I get that, right? But the fire... Deontay crowd was very quiet. He went 10 for 10 for nine, I don't believe 98 yards against the Carolina Panthers, which was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it brings me back to this tweet. And like I said, we are in that speculation mode. Ain't going to say too much, but stay tuned. And also, you know what? I'll play the other side of the coin too. I'll play the other side of the coin as well. If you think about it, Deontay Johnson isn't really helping his own cause. Like, why bother putting out that tweet to cause that mess or that stir when you could just say nothing? Absolutely nothing. 
and there, w- there wouldn't be any drama because the half the internet right now is talking about Deontay Johnson. Where will he go? Should we trade him? Should we trade him and get Addison? Should we trade him and bring another veteran uh, uh, receiver in? I've even heard um, links with Hopkins, stuff like that. Should we trade him and get rid of him? You know, we don't want him in the locker room. But I'm not too bad if he is. If Deontay Johnson comes back next year, if he sticks with the Steelers, you have Pickens. I believe they should sign Stephen Sims. Calvin Austin, you have Deontay Johnson. That's four. That's four receivers. And then they might bring another person. I don't know if, if, if Shesky's going to be around. Miles Boykin can help out too. He can be the fifth. Maybe go and draft someone. And then you have six, six receivers or five on your roster. It's not a bad thing having Deontay Johnson there. But it's the point in the season where we just don't know what's going to happen because I ain't going to say too much, but stay tuned 100. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think this means? Does this tweet mean anything or does it mean something? Anyways, guys, I hope you're doing well and I'll see you guys later.